What's going on guys, this is your boy Project Ice Man, I'm bringing you the, an ep new episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Um, this is also a demo, but it seems like it has progressed a lot more than the other demos that I've played. Um, I forgot who I saw play this game, but it seemed interesting, so I wanted to at least try it out. I don't really wa watch too much gameplay. It seems a little bit more retro than the other games that I previous played. Or at least it sounds that way. It might just be all kinds of good for all I know. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's go to the options. A fast, of course. Battle scene is on. Um, I don't remember if this is based on real uh, Pokemon or fake ones, so I'll keep it on shift. Let's, I like the speech frames to be in the later numbers. Yeah, 14. And this will be... Yeah, that looks fine. Medium. And that should be good. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Pinewood. People call me the professor, Pokemon Professor. If you need help, don't hesitate to ask. Yep, controls are the usual. Well then, without further ado. You're about to enter a world where you are will embark on a grand adventure on your very own. Looks like the text is a bit too high. Speak to people and check things where, wherever you go, be it, be it in towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every possible source. New paths will open to you when you help people in need, overcome challenges, and solve mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others to do a battle, at other times wrong creatures may stand in your way. By overcoming such hurdles, you will gain, you will gain great power. However, your adventure is not solely about becoming powerful. On your travels, we hope that you will meet countless people and through them achieve personal growth. This is the most important objective of this adventure. Oh, fake mods, okay. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some play people play with Pokemon and some people have some battle with them. Play. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. And as always, gotta call myself Shen. Go. Saying that you're Shen. Shen, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures where Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, is this music from Pokemon X and Y? The region? Isn't that the gym leader music? Welcome to our show battle in Ricardo League Village. Today, it's a battle between two famous gym leaders of a beautiful, uh, beautiful region. On the left side, it's Wei, the gym leader of Wei Tide City. On the right side, it's Wonderful Electra, the gym leader of Rustbolt City. Are the trainers ready to battle? Yes, of course. Absolutely. Now let the battle begin. Shen, didn't you hear me calling you? Oh, she turned off the TV, huh? Sitting in your room and watching Pokemon battles. Doesn't matter. Rodney is waiting down. Is downstairs waiting for you. Alright, so no running shoes as of yet. Oh, that was weird. 
Shit, about time you got here. I called you a whole bunch of times and you never responded. Anyways, did you forget what today is? We got our first Pokemon. I remember when I started my own very own Pokemon journey, right, Jake? Like it was yesterday. That's how your father and I met. Anyways, my mom sent me over here to remind you, in case you forgot, which you did. You should have over to Professor Pinewood's lab. You know what that is, don't you? I do. I'll show you, Shen. You probably forgot anyways. This looks exciting. I can't wait to see what you, you choose as your first Pokemon. Their arms are to the side like that. It kind of looks weird to me for some reason. I can't wait. Follow me. Huh, Rodney and Shen, you made it. Are you excited? You sure are. Excellent. Now let me tell you something first. As you know, I'm a professor, but you probably don't know this. I'm studying the environments in which Pokemon like to live, how they survive, and how they grow and evolve in these conditions. That sounds cool. It is very exciting to see where Pokemon live. This is why I'm entrusting you two with this. In this machine are three Pokeballs. Each of these Pokeballs contain a Pokemon, and out of these three, you can choose whichever one you want to have as your very first Pokemon. This is awesome! I'm so excited! Shen, you choose first. I'm too excited to move! Choose your starter, Shen. It's a difficult choice. Every one of them has its own advantages. Let's see... Aerovore. It looks like a turtle. Perlet. <laughs> So we got another, um, Litten. Um, since I have, um, Kit Torch in Pokemon Ethereal Gates, I won't choose the Fire type move this time. Salatad? Hmm, interesting. Salatad. Okay. So let's think of all the games I previously played. Um, Ethereal Gates, I chose a fire type. Alabaster, I chose a fire type. Insurgents, I chose Bonazard, <laughs> pretty much. Pokemon Sage, I chose a water type. So let's go with the grass type this time. Her Herivore. Let's see, it's a male. I'll name this after... One of my subscribers. Kinra. Ah, excellent choice, Shen. I'm sure you and your Pokemon will grow to be good friends. Now it's your turn, Rodney. Okay, I'll choose this one. Ah, this Pokemon suits you well, Rodney. Now I also have something for you. This is a Pokedex. It records all the Pokemon you see and capture. It will help me in my studies on where Pokemon live, likes to live. Thanks, Professor Pinewood. I'm so happy right now. This is awesome. I'm gonna go now and start my journey. He sure is excited, little guy. I'm sure- okay, he's got it. I'm sure he'll have lots of fun along his journey. That Pokemon that was left is meant for a trainer named Kinra- from- K oh, I almost said Kinra. Kaira, <laughs> who lives in Mossy Town. But it seems that she might have forgotten to come and get it. Could you do me a favor, Shun? Could you go to Mossy Town and let her know that her Pokemon is waiting for her? Yes? Excellent! I'll see you soon. Mossy Town, huh? Professor Pinewood is one of the most well-known professors in the world. He's a good friend of Professor Oak from Canada region. Hey Shen, wait a second. Take these with you. Now enjoy your journey.
Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. They they do full body sprites. Shen, I was so excited I almost forgot. How about our first battle? We battle each other. Awesome. We're both new to battling, but I'm sure we'll try our hardest. Okay, so this is this is Gen Five. They have Gen Five music in this. Of course, with the Charmander call apparently. Ah, nice. Well, we are just good starting out after all, but I enjoyed it. What was it, that music? <laughs> and all of a sudden turned into Pokemon Insurgents. Oh man, I can tell you're going to be a tough rival. That was a great battle. Let me heal your Pokemon. Wait a sec. On the west end of Soul Tree Town lies Route 1. There are wild Pokemon, so be careful. I'm heading towards Serpentine City. There's a gym there. Wait, you don't know about gyms? It's a place where you battle a special trainer, and if you win, you get a badge. If you get 8 badges, you can enter the Pokemon League when you face off against strong trainers, or maybe even the Elite Four. I'm a huge fan of the Elite Four. I dream of being one one day. Well, I'll see you in Serpentine City. Soul Tree, City, Soul Tree Town is a beautiful place in Rikoto, but my friends say there are many more interesting cities in this region. Is this your new friend? How exciting! Hey Shen, have you chosen your Pokemon? Your starter Pokemon? That's fantastic! Hey Shen, my big brother is strong, but I don't know if he's stronger than you. So you're going on a journey across Rikota too? I'm sure that you and Rodney will cross paths off. Be sure to check up on Rodney when you see him, and if he challenges you to a battle, don't go easy on him. Give it a great challenge. So there's a beach here. Route one. Okay, so that put. There are wild Pokemon around here. It's dangerous. Okay, so that's a ledge that I go down from. Okay, so now it, all of a sudden it's Chen. Ooh! Budgie. Bud sheep that sounds like a cat. All oh, right, I forgot to check. I forgot to check my stats. Wait, that's not a cat. I think that sounds like a butterfly, doesn't it? type as expected. Brave nature. Okay, so that's why it did so much damage. And it seems like it's a great nature form too. 
It does look like a turtle. I don't have any running shoes yet, so I, apparently I can't run. Can I hear myself? Oh, you can't hear yourself here? Oh man. By the way, I should get I should withdraw my um Oh! You can withdraw Pokemon here? We actually have a PC. But if you can't heal over there, then where can you heal? Can a machine... Can the machine of uh, the professors heal your Pokemon? They have no way of healing your Pokemon in this first round. Okay. Looks like I gotta use a potion then. Hey, do you know about this kind of tree on my left? It's a headbutt tree. If one of your Pokemon knows the move headbutt and it uses it on its tree, it's possible that the Pokemon will fall down and attack you. Hey, you're a new trainer, right? You should take this potion. It will heal your weak Pokemon. Make sure you stock up on potions. Or visit the Pokemon Census. So that's how you get to end. This is Mossy Town. It lies between Route 1 and Mossy Forest. Hello, you're a new trainer, aren't you? Do you know about this building behind me? It's a Pokemon Center. A very important building for trainers. Come on, I will show you these services and dorms. Follow me, young trainer. On the right side, you can see the Pokemons. You can buy a lot of diff po different po things like potions and Pokeballs. On the left side is the waiting area. A lot of trainers are waiting there for their Pokemon. You can talk to them. They have a lot of knowledge about the region. This is the most important place in the Pokemon Center, the healing station. Just give your Pokemon to the nurse behind the counter and she will heal your Pokemon as fast as she can. This is the computer. With this, you can send your Pokemon or item to another computer. With the Pokemon storage system, you can send your Pokemon to Professor Spiney. Also, you can send your item to your own computer. This is a new area. It's called the Quest Room. A lot of people will rest here. There are people who have lost something and need someone who can find you. People who have the gift for something. I need another people. 
I need another person as a carrier of people who want to trade a Pokemon. This is everything I can show you, have a nice day. Hey, I'm a new trainer, you too? I walked through Route 1 and then I saw this beautiful girl. I don't have the courage to talk to her, but I wrote a letter. Did you bring the letter to the girl? I think I know who you're talking to, talking about. Alright, let's heal up. And let's talk to this guy. I travel here all the way from Hoenn, a rather aquatic area, as a tourist. It's tough getting used to the climate here, but I have to see everything in Ricota has to offer. My next stop is Serpentine City, through Mossy Forest. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to repeat what he says. Let's get 10 Pokeballs so we can get that Premier Ball. Let's buy some Antidotes. And 2 Potions. That should be fine. That's you, right? Oh, what's that? A letter from a boy who saw me on this route? Wow, that's so cute. Wait a second while I read it. Oh, he wants to meet me in a Pokemon Center in Mossy Town. Thank you so much, I have to go. Okay, that's an interesting concept. Ooh. I like Critter. I think I'll catch this thing. Oh, man. Okay, so it's an extra type, of course. Let's give it a nickname. Who should I name this after? I'll name this after. I'll name this one Sapphire. Heal up first. And let's talk to these guys. Thank you so much. I never thought that the girl liked me, but she came. I have a gift for you, ever. Oh, wow. So early. Thank you for now, leave us alone, please. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's check out this place, shall we? I already talked to you. Pay attention to the status of your Pokemon. They are kept ill or weak from battle for too long. They will gradually become unhappier and could even faint. Take them to a Pokemon Center quickly. My mom works at the Pokemon Center. She helps sick Pokemon get better so they can help with their trainers again. When I'm old enough and I'm done with my Pokemon journey, I'll become a nurse just like her. Wow, 
You got a Pokemon? I can't wait to get my own Sundar. So there are a lot of beaches nearby here. We have a nice and peaceful be uh, beach here. We're really lucky. just walk into other people's houses. What? The door is wide open? Oh, I must have forgotten to lock it. That's fine, though. You didn't know any better. I mean, at least you weren't looking through my trash or anything. Most of the houses in Ricota are open for everyone. Just a few are locked. You brought that upon yourself. That was, that was way too easy. That was way too easy. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm in a big rush. Huh? You're Shen. You came to get me? Thanks. I told you I forgot something today. Silly me. Well, I'd better get, get my Pokemon. Yep. Hey, Kara, wait a second. Oh, Shen. Surprised I know your name? Well, I'm a good friend of your mom, and she just called me to say that you were on your way to tell Kira about her Pokemon. I see, she has already gone to get it. Thank you. But your mother has also told me to tell you that she has something for you, so you should go back home and see what it is. Good luck. Sorry to get in the way, but I found some strange for- Oh, right? Okay. Okay. Yep, of course. Always. This never gets old. This way. Looks like there's an item down here. Another potion. Nice. Oh, I wasn't pressing up. Yeah, oh, thought there was an item there. Alright. So, I have something for the flying types now, which is good news. <laughs> Although, he probably doesn't have, like, uh, uh, any electric type moves yet. Or she. Elder Critter. Yep, Scratch and Tail Whip. We're gonna have to train this one up. Oh, right, right. Um, what are their abilities? I mean, yep, Overgirl, of course. And Pickup, yes! Yes, alright. So first I'll go in here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Guess not. So I go back home. Hi, Shen. Go to your mom. She has a gift for you. Shen, I see you got my message. Well, your father and I have a gift for you. Yes! This will surely help you get to you where you want to go faster. I have the gift for you, too. This is a Pokegear. It contains a map of the recorder region, a radio for music, and a cell phone to call other trainers or us. It also contains a badge case. This is awesome. Now, we both wish you luck on your training, Shen. Let's see what the place is. Oh, this place looks huge. Rusty Town, Serpentine, Crest Light, Rust Boat, Rest. So I'm guessing since they have all these regions marked, 
either they already like did the entire map or this entire game is finished. Well, I'll save the game right here, guys. Um, did I have an auto save feature? Nope. Alright then guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode.